back again, this time with a bit of a dual kickoff video. So November has sort of become the science fiction month for a lot of us, uh, with the Bryants having created New Worlds November. And then I am also adding just for this year, How for the Holidays, which is an attempt for me to get some buzz going from my favorite science fiction author, Hal Clement. Uh, and I thought a really good way to start off this month would be to talk about why it is I like science fiction in the first place, which is pretty easy for me to answer, actually. Uh, my entire life, ever since I was little, I've had an avid interest in space, the universe, how it works, and everything in it. So uh, throughout my whole life, I've watched any documentary that I came across that came on television. Uh, when I was a kid, I would watch Nova on PBS. My dad also had an interest in it. And so, of course, it was much easier for me to have access to that sort of thing uh, because I could get it through him. Uh, and then also my dad also read science fiction. And I think it was just a natural course because of my interest in the universe that that would translate into science fiction. So I like to see all of the things I have learned in these documentaries and in the lectures I've seen and in the books I've read about it. I want to see an author paint me a picture of exactly how that stuff works. I want to I want to know it. I want to see it in my mind. I want to see it at work. <laughs> and uh, that's what a, lot, a large number of science fiction authors are able to do. And of course, so far, nobody does that better than Hal Clement, which is why he is my favorite science fiction author. He is so far, for me anyway, the best at imagining alien worlds, alien species, their biology, how the physics works on other planets, technology, uh, all kinds of things. He's just so... He's just brilliant, in my opinion, brilliant at, uh, at imagining these things. So before I go on, I just want to pause to mention my co-hosts for How for the Holidays. Uh, we have Shondi Stanfast, Scott Danielson, and Scott Bryant from the Bookish Bryants, and I'll have all their channels linked down in my description. Now, I do know that Sean and Scott Bryant have both told me that they'll be doing a kickoff video for How for the Holidays. So... I'll come back and link those specific videos down in my descriptions uh, by their channels. Uh, and then I also want to mention my co-hosts for New Worlds November. So, of course, we have the Bookish Bryants, uh, who are the creators. We have Steve Donahue. We have Shondi Stanfast, Matt at Science Fiction Reads, Jim Reads Too Slow, Greg at Another Bibliophile Reads, Chris from Unlimited Reads, Mark from Book Time with Elvis, Michael K. Vaughn, Read by Fred, Nathan from The Rambling Rack, um, no, no, <laughs> Nathan from The Rambling Reviewer, excuse me, uh, uh, Gareth from Books, Music, and Other Magic, and Bob's Books, where the O in Bob has been replaced with a zero. I will have everybody's channel linked down in my description, so um, you can check out all their channels and their new So I thought I would go through the How for the Holidays books that I'll be reading. I don't know all of the How Clement that I might read in the next three months, but I do have at least two things for each month that I am for sure going to read. So for New Worlds November, since I'm reading other science fiction to, to uh, fit other prompts for New Worlds November, I'm just going to be reading uh, his short stories. Uh, now, I do have a New Worlds November TVR, which I'll put a linky box up here uh, if you guys are interested in that. Uh, but my first Hal Clement is this book, which is The Essential Hal Clement, Volume 2. This is a volume full of 18 of his short stories, and I divided them up into terrestrial and extraterrestrial. So I'll be reading all of the uh, terrestrial stories for the first week of New Worlds November and all of the extraterrestrial stories for the second week of New Worlds November. I will also be reading uh, Hal Clement's short story titled Seasoning, which he wrote especially for Harlan Ellison's world, Medea, which is found in this collection here. I'll also be reading his Hal Clement short story called Blot, which he wrote in Isaac Asimov's Robot World and can be found in this collection here, Foundation's Friends. Then in month two of Hal for the Holidays, which is December, I will be rereading uh, Ocean on Top by Hal Clements. And I wanted to reread this because this was the very first Hal Clement book I ever read. I'd never heard of him. 
I found this book in half price books in Kansas City. I loved the cover. I thought it sounded interesting, so I bought it. Uh, it's only about 120 to 150 pages. I read it one night before I went to bed and I was just blown away, blown away by the technology that uh, he describes in this, in this novel. It's absolutely amazing. So I would like to revisit this book and see what I think now that I have read more of How Clements Works. Uh, and then in December, I will also be reading uh, The Essential How Clement, Volume 3, which contains uh, Mission of Gravity, its sequel Starlight, plus the short stories that also relate to the Mission of Gravity uh, books, one of which How Clement actually wrote especially for this volume. There's also an essay in here called Whirly Gig World and a couple of other essays by other science fiction writers that have to do with How Clement. Also in December, I will be reading through the Starmont Guide for Hal Clement. Then in January, I will be reading uh, Intuit by Hal Clement, which is actually uh, a series of four short stories about a character named Laird Cunningham. I actually don't know anything more about it. I've never read these. Uh, so this will be, I'll be going in uh, blind into this, uh, but that's fine. It's Hal Clement, so I'm sure that I will love it. Then also in January, I will be reading uh, this volume of How the Essential How Clement, Volume 1, which contains Close to Critical, which uh, is one of his novels that I have already read, but again, it was the second thing that I read, and so I do want to revisit it and see how see what I think about it now. It also contains Needle, but I actually will not be rereading Needle. I will say that so far Needle is my least favorite How Clement story, although I absolutely loved uh, the way that he described uh, a sentient virus. <laughs> it was absolutely fabulous, those descriptions, but the story itself, not really my favorite one by him. Uh, and then this book also contains Ice World, which I have not read, but I am greatly looking forward to that one. So those are all of the How Clement books I know for sure that I'll be reading uh, during the three months of How for the Holidays, and I will call that the end of the video.